So we got ourselves a tough problem here. I want to approach it in a very easy to easy to understand, manageable way. Break it down into bite-sized chunks. What if you had 10? What is 10 equal to in exponential format? Well, it's equal to 10 to the first, right? What is 100 equal to? Well, that's equal to 10 to the second, right? Yes. Now, I get rid of this. Now, what if I wanted to take the log of something, base 10? So, 10 times something, let's call it x, is going to be e equal to something. 10 times 100. Ten to the x equals ten times a hundred. Well, we know that ten times a hundred is going to be a hundred with one more zero. All right? That's a thousand. And I'll just drop a one thousand right in there. Oh, that looked nice. And there we go. So. I multiplied 10 times 100, and I got 1,000. So 10 to what power, 10 raised to what power, is going to be equal to 1,000? Well, we know that's 10 to the third. So this x here is equal to 3, because this guy, 10, raised to this guy, the x, oops, I mean the 3, is going to be equal to this guy, the 1,000. This is saying 10 raised to what number will give you 1,000? And the answer is 3. So all of this is equal to 3. Yes, that's our guy. Let me put him over here. And that's our answer. 3. Very simple. Extremely simple. And this is our answer because 10 to the third is equal to 1,000. Our answer is 3. Log base 10 of 1,000 equals 3. Hmm. Now, I want to take this number over here, 10 now. Bring this guy down here. And I want to take the log and use the same base, base 10 of this guy, 10. Oops, I just missed that, didn't I? That was pretty bad. All right, now I'm going to erase them. Ah, there we go. Oh, I am too good. I should have been an artist. I'm telling you, I should have been an artist. Well, anyway. There we go. So, the log base 10 of 10 is equal to what? Well, that's saying 10 raised to what power will give me 10? And the answer is very simple. This guy has got to be equal to 1. Because 10 to the first power is equal to 10. It's that simple. It's got to be 1. 10 to the first is equal to 10. Huh. All right, let's clean this up a bit. All right, we're sneaking up on this very difficult problem now. Now, the next one I want to do is the 100 guy. There are two factors in those parentheses. I want to grab them. I want to take a look at them real close. I'm going to take the log, base 10, of course, of what number? The 100 now.
Now, what is that equal to? Uh, 10 raised to what power gives me 100? Well, obviously it's 2. 10 to the second power is going to be equal to 100. So, log base 10 of 100 is equal to 2. So we took the log of our first guy, first factor, factor number 1, that was equal to 1, right here. Then we took the log of factor number 2, our second factor, and that was equal to 2. And if you add 1 and 2 together, you're going to get 3, which was the answer to our guy up here. So this is a product. 10 times 100, that's a product. And this is the log of the product. This is the log of the product. Well, what about these guys? What are these guys? Here, oh, that's too thin. Here and here. What are those guys? Well, those are the individual logs. Individual logs. Ah. And what's this thing? This is the sum of the individual logs. Well, that's really just an addition sign. This is really the sum of the individual logs. Really, isn't it? So I better put the arrow over here. So this guy is the sum of the individual logs, while this guy, oh boy, this is pretty, pretty crowded, isn't it? Let me see if I could turn it red and make it look nice. Ah, uh, maybe. So the log of the product equals the sum of the individual logs. Doesn't it? Yes, it does. Well, let's play around with this for a second now. We did this with numbers. What if I replaced the number 10 with the letter M, as in Mary? M. 